everyone? How is everyone? How many of you have seen the movie Zero Dark Thirty? About a third of the crowd. What's the movie about? Osama bin Laden? What else is it about? Pardon? Determination to get the guy. Anything else? When I saw the movie, I thought it was about health workers. Did anyone else? Why would I think it's about health workers? Actually, the movie publicized a decision made by the US government to use a hepatitis vaccination worker to get more information. And a lot of criticism of the movie was that it publicized the use of a vaccination worker. So whether it's the US government or the movie, things have happened. And things have happened sometimes we think as a consequence and maybe not. In the past four months, more than 30 vaccination workers have been killed on the front lines while they're delivering life-saving polio vaccine to young children. This has happened in Afghanistan, it's happened in Pakistan, it's happened in Nigeria. What do these three countries have in common? Polio. They're the three countries where polio transmission has never, ever stopped since we realized what polio was. In the US in the 40s and 50s, between 20 and 30,000 cases of polio were transmitted every year. Uh, 25 years ago, the world had about, saw about 350,000 ca cases of polio worldwide. Last year, that number was 1,200. Polio can be eradicated, actually, within the next, Bill Gates has said, by 2016. But it cannot be eradicated if the health workers offering the vaccine are killed and targeted. It's hard to think about because I think you know, we've all, a lot of us have worked in countries where we know the vaccination workers. And many of them walk long hours, wake up early in the morning to bring vaccines to children. And vaccination campaigns are often organized under a tree or sometimes under a tent. So these vaccination workers on their way to the campaign were killed. In Nigeria, a police officer who tried to intervene was also killed. These countries are also countries that have conflict or civil unrest. And this means that care cannot get offered. This is actually why IntraHealth, along with Johns Hopkins University and the International Medical Association and several other agencies now, um, founded Safeguarding Health in Conflict Coalition last year. We feel that, first of all, how many health workers are killed on, on the job every year due to conflict? Anyone have a guesstimate? The reality is we don't know because so much of it goes undocumented. So one of the goals of the coalition is actually to help ministries of health and governments document what's happening on the front lines of care. Another problem is people often go unpunished, especially during times of war, civil unrest. So they think they can get away with it. And they, they specifically attack health workers because they don't want the communities to get health care. So I encourage you all to learn more about this, to go to the Safeguarding Health and Conflict website, sign up for the newsletter, and follow what's going on. I think if people really think about it, that's something that we can't allow to continue. Polio transmission has stopped in the US, but it could come back at any time. Only 1% of people that actually get infected with polio have any symptoms at all. And those who do, as we know, we always think about paralysis. There's also death as the virus enters your spinal cord and your brain. So again, I encourage you all to stand up for health workers. Think about health workers and those in our lives too who are saving lives every day. Thank you.